hello guys you're welcome back to this channel in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you how i got this beautiful two piece a pants and a top i'll be showing you in details of how i got it so if you are inter interested in this kind of video you can stay back and watch this tutorial if today is your first time of joining my channel you are welcome and if you are a return subscriber you are welcome as well Please, if today is your first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and please don't forget to like this video. So this is the material we are going to be using for this tutorial. This is a sample material and for this tutorial, I'll be using the, the material here is three yards, but I'm not going to finish it. It's going to remain later. So you are welcome back to this channel so the first thing we're going the first thing we're going to work with is the person length measurement the person length measurement so the person length, then i'm going after measuring the person length measurements i'm going to add three inches to the length measurement that three inches is, is for folding that three inches is for is for folding the one i'm going to fold at the down part that's why i added that to this measurement i hope you are getting it the three inches i added to the length measurement is for the folding depending on the length you are working with now after you measure this is pants we are cutting the length of the pants so after you are done measuring your length the next thing you need to calculate is what is the person lapse measurement what did you measure when you measure the person what did you measure for the person lapse is very very important so we are going to be working we are going to be working with the person lapse measurement So, because I'm going to be putting band on the pants, so the person last measurement is 27. 27 divided by 2. What this is what I always use. I always divide the person last measurement divided by 2 minus 1. That is what I always use for my crush. And it works perfectly for me. The person last measurement divided by 2 minus one that is what i do use so now what i did was that i minus three from the crush side then the remaining one is what i used there the next thing i'm doing right now is the person waist you are going to calculate the person band what is the person band then you are going to add your 1.5 inches for your sewing allowance then i'm going to connect it as shown Let's connect this and see. But before we connect, let me come to the leg. Now, the leg, depending on what you want to use for your leg, depending on what you want to use, these are I always do my own. So now, for the leg, I want to use 10. To our new length from the leg to our new length i have 17. this is 17. i just take out the i just measure out the 17. so that i will know where i'm going to like start my shipping that's why i measure out the, I would, the 10 will reach the new length this is it 10. let me take measurement again 10. From the down part i measure 10. can you see so i measure a straight line to the knee length then from the knee length then i'm going to because this place must not yeah can you see that So I want to do the crush side now. You 
this is the crutch side here is the crutch side so in in this tutorial what you need for your measurements you need your length measurements your laps measurements and your band the band of your pants your band measurements so for the crush what i use for the crush i use my laps divided by two minus one then i'm going to slant the front because this is the front this is the front of the pants so i will slant the front by one inches can you see the way i'm doing it so i just measure one inches from the lap from the crush here then i just slant it just watch the tutorial carefully you will get everything can you see So I'm done cutting the, that is the front that I just cut. So I'll be using the front to cut the back. I'll be using the front to cut out the back. So after placing it carefully, after you are done with this, the next thing you're going to do now is to measure Depending on you, you can use 1.5. At the same time, you can use 2. You can add 2 inches to your measurements. At the same time, you can use 1.5. You understand? So I, I'm just trying to measure out my 2 inches that I want to add to the back bodies. I'm going to be adding 2 inches. Then from this place, you know when I was cutting the front, I slant the front body. From the back body, you are going to return that one inches that you cut earlier. You must return it back to the back body. You must return it back so that the pants will live very well on the person body. So the next thing we are going to do now is to cut it out. Let's cut it out. So the next thing I'm going to be cutting now, I'll be cutting the pockets. I'll be cutting the pockets, the side pockets, and at the same time, I'll be cutting the band as well. The one I'll be putting for the band, I'll be cutting it. So let's cut it and see. So for the pockets, I'll be cutting... This is the band, anyway. That's the waistband I just cut. Then for the pocket, I'll be cutting 14 by 7 in two places. 14 by 7 in two places. So that is that about that. The next thing we want to cut now is the top. I'm going to be cutting the top now. So here is the fabric i just cut it out <clears throat> so the next thing we are going to do now is to start taking our measurements so this is front and back bodies that i just cut i place the front and the back on each other the person shoulder measurement is 15 and a half 15 and a half divided by two plus our half inch sewing allowance so i'm going to add the half inch sewing allowance here I'll just I just add it here because they have in sewing allowance. Anything I use for the shoulder, that's what I always use for the 
body measurement. And the next thing I'm going to do now is to connect the two lines together. This one that I'm doing now is my ammo measurement. Ammo. Then I'm going to get the midpoint of the ammo, which is four and quarter. I'll measure half inch from here. Half inch from here, then I'm going to connect it together with my fresh cuff. You can use your hand to do this. So this is what we have right now so the next thing we are going to do now is to take out the person bust measurement waist measurement and i'm going to like add sewing allowance to this what is the person half length i think half length is 15. what is our waist our waist is 32. 32 divided by 4 we give us 8. Is 2.5 okay, then plus 2 in sewing allowance. Then I'm going to connect these two lines together. Then from here, I'm going to measure 3 inches from the down part. I measure 3 inches, then I'm going to do a I don't want the down part to be straight. So, can you see what I have here right now? Then to the neckline, For the neckline depending on your choice but for me i use four by three point five for the front neckline i use four by three point five then i just take out my shoulder loop of one inches then for the back neckline i'll be using the same four by one inches for the breadth four you can use one you can use 1.5 you can use two depending on how you want your neckline to be you know So this is what we have after cutting it out. Can you see? Then I'll come back to the front. Only the front. Because the front neckline and the back neckline is not the same thing. So I just have to like cut the front again. So this is what I have after cutting it. Then I'm going to slant the front a little bit. The back rather. I'm going to slant the back. by four or three inches you can decide to slant it by four or three inches depending on your choice so this is it so this is what we have now 
So the next thing we are going to do now is to cut out our sleeve. It's very, very simple and easy to do. So we already cut the body. The next thing we need to do is to cut the sleeve. So let's cut out the sleeve and we are almost done with the tutorial. So here is the... Just want to, I just want to cut out the sleeve. But before that, I need to take measurements for the length. I'm working with the length of 20... I'm working with the length of 24. Then, because it has a band, I have to minus 4 inches from the length. I have to have minus 4 inches from the length measurement. That is what I just did. Because it has band, I minus 4 inches from the length measurement. And I'm going to use the first one that I cut to cut the second one. Then after cutting it together, I'm going to shape my hammer or the sleeve. So from here, I'm going to measure out four from this side. Then I'm going to connect a line as shown. Can you see that? Then I'll come to the down part. Okay. So this is what we have because we are going to be using the down part to pleat on the piece that we are going to cut then from this upper part i'm going to slit it i'm going to slit it in the middle i'll slit it in the middle initially i slit it to this extent but later I later cut it a little bit then I just leave two inches from the down. I later cut it. I leave two inches from the down part. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to cut out the band. The one we are we'll be using for the band. That's what I want to cut out right now. You know, I said that I'm going to like recut the slit I cut earlier. So I'm just trying to measure it. So I'm going to cut it now. So I just leave two inches from this down part. Can you see? So I repeat the same thing for the second one as well. Thanks so, so much for watching this tutorial. If there's any question, you can ask me in the comment section. And this is it after sewing it. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. God bless you and do have a nice and lovely day. If you want me to post the sewing tutorial, you can comment in the comment section and I'm going to do that. Thanks so much for watching the channel. God bless you. Bye. And see you in my next tutorial.